Chapter 2 The Basic Problems of an Economy and Solution We will study the following points in this chapter. 2.1 Introduction 2.2 Basic Economic Problems 2.3 Solution Two point one Introduction There are various economic activities like production, distribution, consumption, etc. Every economy faces common basic economic problems related to economic activities. They are as follows two point two Basic Problems of an Economy 1. What to Produce 2. How to Produce 3. For Whom to Produce 4. How Much to Produce 5. By Whom to Produce 6. How Best are the Resources Being Used 1. What to produce? It is a problem regarding selection of goods and services to be produced. Every economy has to decide whether to produce consumer goods such as rice, wheat, clothes, etc. or capital goods like machinery, equipments, etc. Similarly, an economy has to make a choice between necessary goods and luxury goods. Generally, top priority is given to the production of goods and services of mass consumption. 2. How to produce This problem is related to the choice of techniques used for production of goods and services. Generally, there are two techniques of production. That is, labor-intensive technique and capital-intensive technique. In the labor-intensive technique, more labor and less machinery are used. Example, handloom industry, whereas in the capital intensive technique, there is more use of machinery than labor. Example, modern textile mills. The choice of technique depends upon availability of factors like machinery, labor, equipments, etc. and their relative prices. For example, in India, Labor-intensive technique will be preferred due to abundant population. Every country adopts such techniques of production which leads to maximum utilization of available resources. 3. For whom to produce? An economic problem mainly arises due to Scarcity of resources. It limits the production of goods and services in the economy. It is therefore necessary for every economy to decide for whom to produce. That means whether to produce for rich or poor people. This problem is related to the distribution of production among people. The solution of this problem depends upon socio-economic ideology of every economy. 4. How much to produce? The decision regarding how much to produce depends upon population growth, availability of resources and size of market. A country with large population requires more quantity of production. Level of production 
is determined by availability of resources. Every economy aims to expand its production to the maximum level. 5. By whom to produce? This problem is related to the ownership and control of productive activities in an economy. In a capital economy, means of production are owned, controlled and operated by private individuals. In a socialist economy, the entire production is managed and controlled by the government. In a mixed economy, some important industries and services like defense, atomic energy, railway, etc. are owned and managed by public sector and the rest by private sector. 6. How best are the resources being used? This problem involves an efficient allocation and proper utilization of resources. An efficient use of resources is very important to achieve the highest possible growth rate. The available resources have to be allocated among different productive activities so as to obtain maximum total output. There may be underutilization or misutilization of resources. Under such situations, total output would be less than full capacity. An efficient utilization of available resources helps to solve the basic economic problems. 2.3 Solution Solution of basic economic problems according to types of economy A. Capitalist economy In a capitalist economy, consumers enjoy freedom of choice regarding what and how much to buy. Producers have occupational freedom. The decision about what, how, and how much to produce, as well as how to distribute, etc., are taken with the help of free play of demand and supply forces. Producers adopt the most efficient technique of production to earn maximum profit. There is no government interference in economic activities, for example, USA. B. Socialist Economy In a socialist economy, decisions about production are taken by the government. These decisions depend upon the objectives and priorities laid down by the central planning authorities. Consumers have no freedom of choice. Goods are distributed on the basis of needs to maximize social welfare, for example, China. C. Mixed Economy Mixed economy is one in which public and private sector coexist. The public sector is owned and run by government while the private sector is owned and managed by private individuals. However, goods and services are produced and supplied by private sector on the basis of no profit, no loss. Decisions regarding public sector are taken by the government and planning commission. The decisions of private sector are based on the principle of profit maximization. In public sector, the government takes decisions to distribute goods and services in the interest of the people at large so that nobody can be excluded from its consumption. India has adopted mixed economy 
to solve its basic economic problems.